Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. And today we're taking a look at the just released Edison Infinite Dial study and asking the questions, what are the key takeaways from this year's Infinite Dial study for marketers? Well, for marketers and media agencies, the big story coming out of this year's Infinite Dial study from Edison is all things podcasting. There was a lot of meaty insights from there. The Infinite Dial study, uh, now in its 26th year, is the longest running uh, tracking study on American adoption of new consumer devices and specifically a tracking study on usage of streaming uh, media and digital audio and especially podcasting. It began in 1998 and at that time uh, there was very little understanding and awareness and usage of audio streaming. This is long before Americans had significant access uh, to broadband and about 10 years before the availability of uh, smartphones. So we're going to zoom in specifically today and take a look at the key findings uh, surrounding podcasting. The big head snapper is that podcasting is no longer a niche media lacking scale. In fact, among 1834s, podcasting is reaching as many 1834s as television. So the 48 reach you see here from podcasting is from the just released 2024 Infinite Dial study. The TV and radio data you see here, courtesy of Nielsen's comparable metrics analysis. So uh, TV is reaching just as many 1834s as podcasting. And this is uh, quite uh, a stunning turn of affairs. Among 1834s, AM FM actually dominates in reach with nearly eight out of 10 1834s reached by AM FM radio. If we take a look at 18 to 49, uh, podcasting is reaching 46% of that demographic. Live and time shifted television, according to Nielsen, is reaching 58%. This is weekly data. So the podcast reach among 1849 is 80% of TV, AM FM reaching eight out of 10, 18 to 49 year olds. The big story from a trending perspective coming out of the most recently released Infinite Dial is the huge uptick and growth of female podcast audiences. If you take a look at the last eight years, from 2017 to 2020, looking at monthly reach among women, it was a period of sharp growth. We went from monthly reach for podcasting among women of about 21% in 2017, uh, sharply up to 36% uh, in 2020, just before the pandemic. And then there was a, a four year period of stability where the female monthly reach was in the mid to upper 30s and it pretty much bounced uh, back and forth there. Look what happened in the most recent 2024 Infinite Dial, an explosive increase in monthly podcast reach, a 15% increase. So uh, a significant story there. If we lay the male reach growth side by side with women over the last eight years, men here in the light blue, women in the dark blue, we can see from the beginning, podcasting was attracting more men than women on a monthly basis. Some of this had to do with the available content. Uh, back uh, eight or 10 years ago, there was uh, more content perhaps of interest to men than women. Obviously that has changed. There's a, a lot of diversity in content available, but the gap between men and women is at the closest it's ever been. In the most recent report, there's only three points of reach that separate men and women in terms of podcast audiences uh, on a monthly basis. One of the things we like to look at here at the Audio Active Group is a simple calculation that we call the habituation index. In other words, how in the habit are people uh, of getting into podcasting and listening to it on a regular basis? To determine the habituation index, you just divide the weekly reach over the monthly reach, and the higher that number, the more in the habit 
people are of tuning on a regular basis to podcasts. So here is the female habituation index, which is weekly reach divided by monthly reach over the last eight years. And over this period, the reaches were soaring, but the habituation actually was pretty stable. It was in the mid 60s, meaning about 64% or so of the monthly audience was actually was also listening weekly. But look what's been happening in the last two years. The habituation, uh, the, the growth in the relationship between weekly and monthly reach has gone up. We were in the high 60s in 2023, and now in the most recent reading, an all-time high for female podcast habituation at 71%, meaning 71% of the monthly audience is listening on a weekly basis. So one of the things we like to do for marketers is take the 40-page uh, infinite dial study for medicine and compress all the key trends for persons 12 plus on one page. So you can get kind of a, a sense of change over time across all of the key uh, audience metrics. So we're going from 2017 for persons 12 plus all the way to 2024. Uh, we're calculating change from the uh, oldest to the most recent period. And then on the left, as you go down the left, we're looking at just familiarity with the concept of podcasting. If uh, consumers have ever listened to podcasting, do they listen monthly, weekly? And then we have that uh, conversion ratio. So it is, uh, despite the fact that podcasting has been around for quite some time, there's still about 15% of Americans that are not familiar with the term. However, the last two years, we've seen the uh, familiarity with that term jump into the mid 80s. Um, the ever listened, uh continues to go up there were three uh points of growth in the last year in terms of people that have ever tried podcasting so trial continues to occur and continues to grow uh, monthly listening has doubled over this eight-year period from 24 percent to 47 percent weekly listening has also doubled from 15 percent to 34 percent so the rule of thumb here now is one out of two Americans are listening to podcasts every month. One out of three are listening on a weekly basis. And the habituation index up and up and up, now comfortably in the low 70s. So about 72% of the monthly 12 plus podcast listeners uh, also listening in the most recent week. So what to do with all this? Well, the legendary head of media at BBD No. Uh, Arnie Semsky came up with something about 30 years ago called the 5% solution. At the time, cable was in the early days. They didn't yet have measurement. It showed promise, but advertisers were just doing these tiny little test and learn buys. And so Arnie said, look, we have to commit ourselves boldly to this new medium. We have to put a substantial proportion of media budgets to get an early and a strong position. So he advised his clients to put 5% of media budgets into then this brand new medium called cable TV. Well, Arnie's advice is uh, eternal and well suited now for podcasting because this clearly the new data from Infinite Dial suggests the time for marketer experimentation and tiny test and learn or spray and pray buys is over. It's time to fully commit to podcasting. It's time to put 5% of digital budgets into podcasting. So let's take a look at three major demographics, 1834, 1849, 2554. Let's look at podcast reach for the typical week from the new infinite dial study and the typical month. So the rule of thumb here is weekly podcast reach is comfortably in the 40s. You are in the upper 40s and the younger demographics, mid 40s, uh, in the uh, 2554 demographics. Uh, monthly reach is in the low 60s across the board. So this is a scale platform. It's no longer a niche platform. So the key takeaways here, uh, as we were just talking about, it is time to commit to podcasting as a significant media, not just for experimentation. The reaches are there, they're significant, and they're in all the demographics. 
the high consumption demographics like 1849 and, and 2554. And the scale of podcasts' reach really leads to the natural conclusion that you can consider shifting TV budgets to podcasting, given the reach, uh, the substantial reach that podcasting now has. If you're a brand that is targeting women, uh, obviously this latest study uh, is quite promising because the uh, monthly and weekly audiences for women and podcasting have grown substantially. So it is definitely time for the Arne Semsky 5% solution. Put 5% of digital budgets into podcasting. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media in Westwood One is a full service advisory for national brands, offering media planning recommendations, creative best practices, and measurement services, which could include measuring brand lift, sales effect, site and search attribution, and most importantly, uh, creative testing. Each and every week, we publish a new audio case study and insight. You can find it on our blog, cumulusmedia.com or westwoodone.com. And when you're there, you can sign up to get the weekly audio insight sent directly to your email. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through uh, key findings from the just released 2024 Edison Research Infinite Dial Study. Thanks so much.